So here I am wearing the mask I was just showing you, not on my face, but down on my chest. Isn't he wonderful? This African mask is wood and it's all beaded. The beads are pushed into it when the wood is soft. And I think, now there are, I have a lot of passport masks, but this one I read is, um, is a protective mask. So it's like an amulet. And I think he's just absolutely stunning with his colorful resin beads. And so down here I have, this was one that I had on when we did the video. Now this is a true passport mask. The Africans have these and they travel with them. And so when they arrive at a different village, they can present a mask and it's from their tribe where they come from. So it's a peaceful gesture and I love them. And this has got the old Amazonite beads that are just like massive rocks and they're fabulous. I love that. And here's another little one that I was told is actually not a passport mask and I'm damned if I can remember the name of it, but it's mixed in with green turquoise and wood from Australia and um, gum nut seeds. And he's, he's a little more delicate. I, I, maybe that's a strange word to use for him, but he's um, less substantial, let's put it that way. So then I went to the other extreme. Look at this. Now this is an African passport mask and it's a monkey face or a cat face. I'm not sure which. With the choya wood from Arizona and with driftwood from Bali and glass beads from Java. And I love this because it's super, super lightweight. Here's another African one with Afghani tassels. See, I love mixing cultures. His wood and this is all horn and these fabulous tassels. And if you wanted to, you can remove them and have it without. But I love him with his decorations. I think he's great. Another super, super lightweight piece. And what do I have? Um, this one, let's go to another continent. This one is um, Mexican. And he's an old tin piece and I found him in the store and I, I kept walking in the store and going back and I had to bring him home. I had to get him off the shelf or the wall and bring it home and make a necklace out of him. He's super light. He's such a great statement piece and I love it. It's the mask and it's a butterfly. Isn't that cool? I have Buddhas. I don't know you, but I love Buddhas. I love this. This beautiful wooden Buddha. I bought in Bali and I just love him. He's all carved out of one piece of wood and I have wooden beads and turquoise and he's just a happy Buddha. How could you not be happy wearing him? As you see, in here I've got a lot more. I've got my passport masks with painted wooden beads. I've got painted masks that are fun and colorful with vintage beads. And I have um, brass faces. Look at these, aren't they great? These came from Java and I absolutely love them with their earrings. I have a brass African mask here with boulder opal and African brass beads. And there is this fabulous piece that was is beaded. It's African and I, they wore them as decorative pieces. I'm not sure, but I decided to make it into a necklace because I just thought he was fabulous. And then last but not least, I have these ancient Chinese, the wise men and the warriors, which I think are stunning. They're all enameled. They're brass with enamel on them. They make noise when you wear them. And the vibrancy of the color, I think is just amazing. So the masks for me represent the faces that we all wear and we, they're interchangeable, as you know. Sometimes at home we have one mask on, we walk out the door, we have another one on, and they're all valid. And so that's what I love. These can represent every mood that you feel. You just select it, put it on, and out you go. Enjoy wearing your masks.